اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز السلام علیکم مائی نیم از شعیب خان اینڈ ویلکم ٹو میکس آفٹر ڈاٹ کامس ٹوٹوریل ان ٹو ڈیز ٹوٹوریل ویل مینولی کریٹ اے پیٹرن آف شیپس بائی فلپنگ دیم ان اے سرٹن وے سو دیٹ اٹ گیوز اس کول ٹرانزیشن افیکٹ سو دس از واٹ ویل بی ڈوئنگ So are you guys ready? Let's start the tutorial. Okay, let's first start by creating a new comp. Let's go to composition, new composition, and let's make a small composition of 100 pixels. And let's make it 1 minute and 30 seconds. I'll tell you why later. Let's name this original shape. Press OK. Okay, let's organize our folders here in pre-comps. Um, uh, let's make a folder here for touts and let's put our original shape in here let's make another one for my previous tutorials this is you know the work I've done earlier so let's not mix them so we'll be working with this so this is you know the new comb that we have created now let's make a new layer layer new solid and let's make it Okay, and once the layer is selected, um, let's go to the shapes and here select the rounded rectangle tool and double click on it so we got this nice looking edge here. Let's change the background by Control Shift B so that we can see our shape. So this is our shape here. It's 100 pixels. Let's go and drag it to make a new comp. So this is our new comp. Our first original shape is in here. So let's make call this one shape flip. So I'm doing this because then we can always go back and change the original shape, you know, and we'll change it in all the final comps. In this shape, what we need to do is we need to flip it. So we'll go and uh, apply a very simple effect. You go to effect, and we go to obsolete. This is an obsolete effect, which is basic 3D. Let's put a keyframe at frame zero. Press U on your keyboard. You'll it will reveal the keyframe. Let's make an animation for 15 frames. We can go and type here 15 frames. Press OK. So we got here. We are here on the timeline for 15 frames. Let's change this to 180. So if you go and watch the preview, you can see that. So we got our flipping animation here. It's a simple 3D. Uh, if you don't want to use this effect, you can always make it a 3D layer by going to 3D and go and press R on your keyboard and then you can put keyframes here by rotating this as well the same way but we're not doing that so we leave it as it is press U on your keyboard and these are the keyframes so select this one right click if you can't see it go to keyframe assistant and easy ease okay let's make this um, composition a bit bigger because it's, it's chopping off from here so we go to composition composition settings and here we'll change it to 200 so now it will stay in here it will remain inside you know okay let's go and make a new composition we'll go to composition new composition and we'll make it 720 by 576 this is PAL and you can change it to NTSC if you like so let's write down flip plate and press OK so this is our plate let's put it on our touch and let's bring our shape flip that we created into a new comp that we just made and we go and turn on the title action safe and let's bring it here somewhere and control D move it towards right and with your arrow key on your, on your keyboard just move it towards left and give it a distance you know so that you can see a sharp line so now let's select both of these and control D and you need to make sure that you move it up here and now take the tool that you have just created and move it on the right side select shift so it snaps you know and again with your arrow key you know bring it close have you got four now you have to make sure that this is you know in a sequence first one selects first and then second and third and then four so it's flipping with sequence you know so select all these again and control D and then drag it and put it on the top so that they are numbered you know accordingly let's select them and press shift 
and move it across. Let's select the last one and delete it and make our comp a bit bigger. So we go to composition settings and let's make it 800 by 20 or something. So we got all our boxes inside. Select all of them and then with the shift, you know, with the arrow keys, just line them up, you know, accordingly. And now you can see that they are in sequence, you know. So they'll be flipping this way. And then the next layer will come. Select all of this Control D and put it on top and then bring it down. Now again, now let's select all of this with your shift key. Select the last one here, first one, and then sh press shift on your keyboard and select. So in this way you'll select all of them and Control D and bring it up again in the same manner. And then again shift and with your arrow key move it up. So it line up, you know. Again Control D move it up, bring them down, you know, move it up, it's lined. So let's select all of this now and move it up. So all of this is within the composition. Okay, now we've got all our layers here, you know, we've got our composition. So what we'll do is we need to, you know, sequence them so that every flip is for 15 frames. So for that, what we do is we go here and we trim the comp to 15 frames. And now we are on 15 frames. Let's snap it, select here, shift, and it will slap, snap to the comp. And you can see that it's 15 frames now. So what we do here, right click, trim comp to work area. So now it's exactly 15 frames, you know. So now what we need to do is we need to sequence them. Let's select the first one here and then select this one with your shift and select it. So it's all selected. And then right click and key frame assistance. And if you can't see it, it's sequence layer. You've got a panel here. Turn on overlap and transition. Turn it to off change this to zero. We need it to overlap the, with the other layer in one frame, you know. So let's change this to one. So now you can see it's like lined up, you know, for one frame. So now let's go back to composition settings and change our, our timeline to one minute and 30 seconds, which was originally there. So now it's all lined up. Let's all with all it is selected. Let's increase the duration by dragging it like this. We did all that because uh, we need to sequence the layer, you know, accurately. So that's why we did it like that. Let's turn off the title section safe. And if you see it flipping, you know, so it's a bit slow. So you can speed it up. Save your work as well. And let's go and move on towards the next step, which is. And we go and create a new composition, composition, new composition, and here we go in 720 by 576, press OK. And enter, and let's call it scene 1. Let's call it scene 1. And let's put our plate here, flip plate, which we just created. And we can make it a bit smaller. Yeah, and let's bring our picture. Uh, press toggle switch and we change this track mat to alpha mat flip. Now you can see the flipping is happening, but it's very slow. So what we do is we click here on the duration. If you don't have this, uh, you can always, you know, you can hide this. And if you don't see it, right click columns and it will be duration. So it's here. Let's change this 10% and press OK. So it's sped up by 10%. Now let's change the background to white. Composition background. Change this to white. So we've got our basic plate here. Let's go and select our scene one, and then drag to make a new comp. You know, so our scene one is in here. In the new comp is here. Just select and say scene one, and we'll name it scene one content. So all the content is in here. You know. Okay, let's apply a few effects. You know, let's um, apply bevel and bevel alpha, and let's make it one, and this one one as well. And let's apply shadow to it as well. Drop shadow, and 
and let's change this to 1. Another thing that I did was uh, Control D and apply fill to it and I've changed this to this color so and then gradually you know faded this color so at, at frame 0 is 100 frames it's 100 percent the opacity and you know in few frames then you see then that opacity becomes 0 so in this way you know it looks a bit cool okay so now let's go and make our final comp go to final composition I should say 001 final touch and press OK let's drag it out it'll go here automatically okay let's drop our um, scene 1 content into, into the final composition so we got our final composition here and let's trim this composition as well let's make this 10 seconds so press OK. Let's go and press toggle switches and make it 3D layer. Let's put a camera in the scene. Go to layer, new camera, and let's make it um, 20 millimeters. And let's not enable depth depth of field now. We'll do it later. Okay, now we've got our camera here. So what we do is come to frames one, and we need to, you know press C on your keyboard so that you get this camera tool and put your keyframes at frame 0 and by the time it finishes here somewhere you want it to move you know this you want to move the angle so press C again until you get the orbit tool press C again you get move tool so you can right control D this one this one is basically reflection and press S on your keyboard so unchain it and then put here minus 100 and constrain it and then bring your picture down this is the reflection basically and in reflection we'll apply you know linear wipe okay increase the transition area Let's make it and feather it. So you got our nice reflection here. Now all we need to do is um, this animation flipping animation finishes here somewhere, you know. So let's select both of this and we go to edit split layer and we delete both of these and we control D it and put it on top of it and then we bring it here and let's change this to a minus you know so so we reverse the animation now so here it comes let's give it some more room here you know till the f animation finishes so it goes back so as you see this how it looks So another interesting thing I can we can do is if um, if you go to the original shape, let's close this, and we go to the original shape here. We go and select the ellipse tool, and after selecting the the shape, double click on the tool. We get this new shape in here. Let's change the new mask to subtract, and press select it and press MM on your keyboard, and let's make an animation here. Just let's fix the the mask expansion so let's start it from here so at frame 0 put a free keyframe here and we go f like 2 seconds mark and change this to you know make it this small so it looks like this and right click easy ease again keyframe assistant easy ease if you can't see it now let's go to 001 final touch and now you'll see that we get a cool looking animation because of that that is why we kept the shape you know original shape separately so that whatever we do with the original shape it will affect the whole final comp you know so 
So now let's change it with another picture. So select this one, the first one, and Control D. Put it on top here. So it starts here flipping. So you want it to want to introduce, you know, from the top as well, the new animation, the new picture. But right now it's repeating the same picture. We need to create a few more compositions. We go to Scene One and Control D it. You get Scene Two, right? Go inside the comp change the picture, select this one, you go to GFX and select our earth yeah, and we, got, we change the picture this is scene 1 content so now we duplicate this one as well, control D and write it's scene 2 content and double click on it and select both of these and change it, this is with scene 1, so change it with scene 2 you need to change it with ALT, press ALT on your keyboard and drop it on top of it so it changes the picture exactly you know so now if we go back to the final touch and we've got our scene here select both of these and change this with the scene 2 content that we just created alt press alt on your keyboard and you see it's changing you know now let's see so this is how it looks You need to make a camera move as well, press U on your keyboard and by the time the animation finishes let's select all these keyframes Control C on your keyboard and Control V so we shift all these so let's go and right click all of these and keyframe assistance easy ease so we got a smooth animation now so another thing that I did was that is scene 2 if you go to scene 2 instead of the picture I created another comp with the text, which was this comp, a simple comp with the text, there's nothing here with the background, you know. Go to scene 2 and drag our text comp in here. Close this one and we change this to alpha mat. So now let's go back and see our final animation. And the last thing that I did was uh, I added the depth of field, camera options, and turn it on. And aperture, let's make it 100. Change this to 250. So it gives you a nice, you know, depth of field here. So you can have it more if you like, 350. or 300. You can also save your files by file and you can go to increment and save. When you do increment and save it automatically saves a new version by saying for example if, if it's flip touch then it's, it'll, say, it'll save it as flip touch 2 and if you again do it file increment and save flip touch 3. So there's a you know, nice way of uh, saving your file as well you know to have different versions of files so you can always go back and make changes to your file. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, my name is Shwaib Khan from MaxAfter.com. Assalamu alaikum.